Episode 277, Justice. What's going on? Finn asked Chelsea angrily as he stood in front of Alex. You, take him back to the detention room. Finn commanded the two police officers. They got ready to detain Alex again. Chelsea stopped the officers and said to Finn, Captain, it's been proven that Alex is innocent and should be let go. He's innocent? Who proved it? You need to bring him back here, Finn said. In his confession, Saul had been careful to say that Alex had not made him shoot Julian. Besides, the fact remained that Alex's fingerprints were not on the trigger of the gun. Chelsea said firmly, We have plenty of evidence showing that Alex is innocent. Following procedure, we should let him go. No way. Saul hasn't come to the police station to give his confession. How could I know if he said what you just said? Finn just wanted to keep Alex in the station. He knew Chris would be furious if Alex was released. Dwight and the other officers who were there with me also heard Saul's confession. Chelsea looked at the two police officers who had followed her to arrest Saul and said, Isn't that what Saul said? The two officers agreed that Saul had confessed to shooting Julian and had said Alex was not responsible. Dwight was also nearby and said with some embarrassment, Captain, we just reported it to you. Didn't you hear us? Once the officers had told him that Saul had been caught, Finn had barely listened to the rest of the report. He had not heard all the details. But they were right. According to the law, under such circumstances, Alex should be released. You can go now. Chelsea pushed Alex to leave. Finn couldn't find any excuse to stop him. Watching Alex walk out of the police station's door, Finn felt very embarrassed. He didn't know how he was going to explain it to Chris. Finn looked at Chelsea in frustration. Like the other officers, he had heard rumors that Chelsea came from a very influential family, and he didn't feel confident enough to fight her on this. He had to swallow his anger. He quickly walked into his office and slammed the door. He sat fuming in his chair until he heard someone knock. Who is it? He roared impatiently. It's me, Chelsea called through the door. There's something I want to ask you. But he was too angry to listen. I need to make a phone call to report to my superiors. We'll talk about it later, he shouted. Good, Chelsea shouted back from outside his door. He glared at his door angrily. But finally, he picked up the phone and thought about how he would report this to Chris. After several minutes, he couldn't think of anything good to say. He knew that Chris would be furious that he had allowed Alex to leave. But he had no choice. He had to report it. He sighed and dialed Chris's number. Chris answered his phone quickly when he saw that Captain Murphy was calling him. He hoped that he would have some good news. What happened? Chris asked. It was a simple question but it made Finn tremble. Um... Finn's heart jumped. He knew he had to tell Chris that Alex had been released, but he was too terrified to spit it out. Instead, he said, Chris, we've caught Saul. The two officers had reported to him that Saul's motive to call the police had been to expose Chris at the scene of the arrest. Chris's bad mood improved slightly. Okay, that's very good. Like Alex, you should convict him as soon as possible. The more punishment, the better. 
As long as you get them into prison and keep them there, you don't have to worry about anything else. I'll take care of them. Hearing Chris mention Alex, Finn grew more nervous. He knew he had to tell him what had happened. Finn summed up his courage and finally said, Chris, I... something happened. The security guard named Alex was released. What do you mean he was released? Chris's voice grew louder, which made Finn's heart skip a beat. Alex's fingerprints were on the gun, but not the trigger. The only people who left fingerprints on the trigger were Julian and Saul. After the arrest, Saul made it clear that he was the only one responsible for shooting Julian. He said Alex had nothing to do with it. So we had to release Alex, Finn said quickly. So what? Chris asked coldly. You're a captain. Can't you handle this little problem? He thought that it would be simpler for Finn to use his power to detain Alex at the police station. Chris, this time it's a little different, Finn said in a bitter voice as sweat dripped from his forehead. How different? Chris asked suspiciously. He thought Finn was just trying to make excuses for himself. The person who arrested Alex and Saul is a special case. As long as she's in charge, it's going to be tough for me to intervene. Finn expressed his bitterness. Are you teasing me? Chris asked incredulously. He didn't understand how some officer could interfere with the captain of the precinct's work. It sounded ridiculous. Chris, please don't misunderstand, Finn said quickly. This officer is not an ordinary person. It's Chelsea Wood. You've heard of her family. She was an officer in another state, but they transferred her to our precinct because her family was worried about her safety. Chris's anger cooled slightly. The Wood family had a lot of influence in Baltimore, and its strength was almost the same as that of his family. Many of the family members were officials, especially in the police system. Of course, Finn was afraid to fight Chelsea on this. Chris had heard of Chelsea. She graduated from university with excellent results. After that, she volunteered to be a police officer. It had been said that her goal since childhood had been to be an excellent officer to protect the people. Maybe she had been inspired by some of her family members. Can you make it so she's not in charge of the case? Chris suggested. Chris, you don't know what she's like. Once she's given a task, she won't give up halfway. I tried to force her to ignore the whole thing when it first came up. Even if I could somehow remove her, she would probably keep tracking its progress. If she sees anything unusual, she'll intervene. Chris swore angrily. Well, at least you've got Saul. Lock him up in a detention room and then I'll deal with the matter later. I'll solve the problem with that annoying security guard myself. Yes, Ben responded quickly. He was relieved when he heard Chris hang up. There were two knocks at his door. Finn remembered that before he had called Chris, Chelsea had wanted to ask him something. He didn't want to see her. If she had been an ordinary police officer, he would have gotten rid of her. But he couldn't afford to upset her family. Come in, he shouted. She walked in calmly. What's the matter? He asked politely, so she would finish quickly and leave. She said forcefully, Captain, I request to go to Union Medical College Hospital to arrest Chris and Julian. He almost vomited. What? You want to arrest Chris and Julian? He exclaimed. 
Yes, she said. When we arrested Saul, he said that Chris and Julian had ordered him to kill Alex and Don, the university security guards. He also confessed that he's killed many people for Chris over the years. After he receives treatment and his physical condition improves, we can get the rest of his official statement. Based on this information, I believe that Chris and Julian have committed serious crimes. I demand that they be arrested and brought to justice as soon as possible, so as to not threaten the lives of other citizens. She finished speaking. Finn's heart went cold. Letting Alex would have been bad enough. But if Chelsea managed to arrest Chris and Julian as well, things could turn out very badly. Chelsea, we've only heard Saul's side of the story. We aren't sure about the specific situation. I don't think we should be making arrests with so little information to go on, he said, trying to buy time. When Saul spoke, he was holding his dead girlfriend in his arms, and he confessed all his crimes. In my opinion, at least 90% of what he said was true. Since Chris can hire murderers to kill people, it proves that he's an extremely dangerous person. He's a time bomb. Captain, I'm asking you to let me bring in Chris and Julian immediately, she said. He slapped his desk. Who's the captain here? How did you get into the force? Obeying orders is your duty as a police officer. Get out of my office. You wanted to shock her. She was going to give him trouble. Captain, the police's duty is to help the weak and punish violence. The purpose of the police is to serve the people. This has been engraved in my mind for as long as I can remember. No matter what, I'll never forget it, she said. She continued, I'm going to arrest Chris and Julian. She turned on her heel and walked to the door. Come back here now, he yelled. But she didn't stop. <laughs> 